Why do I call Pisces the big brother? Probably because I'm the oldest and my son, my moon sign is Pisces. <laughs> uh, Pisces is for you. Sun, moon, rising sun. Right? Some of y'all are going to resonate or this is going to resonate strongly with some of you. Some of you, not so much. Right? It's a matter of your karma and where you are within you know, your personal spiritual journey. So, that is something that you have to also get a reading on, right? Let the, the oracle read on where your spirit is, right, for the cycle, so we can hone this reading in here, right? And if you want to do that, you get at me at saanuaqa at gmail.com, right? And we get that done. Okay, so this is for your sun, moon, rising sun. Your general spiritual focus for the November cycle. Geb to Chas. Geb to Chas. Geb to Chas. Dark deceased Tim Chas. Dark deceased Tim Chas. Chas, Dark Decease, Tim Chas, Geb to Dark Chas, Dark Decease, Tim Chas. Okay, so Geb to Chas is one of two things. This is either talking about your income or your health. Okay, you know, Geb to Chas is a positive manifestation of Geb. So perhaps, you know, you're in a positive situation monetarily. Right, but this is flanked by a dark decease, right? So a dark decease is a negative ancestor, a negative <coughs> entity that's <coughs> affecting you in this other realm here, in this Geb realm. Right, so there's something negative going on, right? Now you gotta do some rituals, right? You wanna send some light to that dark deceased, so they can leave you alone. You can nudge them back the way they're supposed to be. They need to go into that light. They over here hanging out, messing with you, right? So you know you wanna focus on the various things that tie you into your ancestors. Are you poor in libation, right? Are you you know uh, being reverent of, you know, your family, your, you know, are you being reverent uh, just in life in general, or are you doing things that will lead you down the road of being a dark deceased yourself, right? What's this Geb? Is this Geb, you know, how are you getting your money, right? Um, it, are you, you know, is everything on the up and up, or is there a darker level by which you're getting your money that could potentially lead you in a dark deceased place, you know, um, you got to watch out, you know, <clears throat> that's on your table, on your table is, you know, you know, you will, you know, perhaps your money will be affected by some negative entities, you know, so you want to head them off, get that Gab mantra, go into trance, chanting the mantra for attraction didn't get or for you know uh, or attracting health right because it can be that as well it's interchangeable in that way right you know is this a manifestation of your health something about me tends to you know tends to look at this thing in terms of money in terms of income right something is trying to hinder you and you have to nudge it in the proper energy state so that it doesn't right um let's go EK See if we can hold it. Open stress. Open stress. Open. Open stress. Open stress. Open. Y'all know I like to repeat these readings as I draw them. Open. 
close, open, close, close, stress. Open, close, close, stress. Alright, we got the 20 into the 60. Twenty into the sixty. Okay, twenty into the sixty. All right. So the twenty is the hexagram of contemplation. All right. So you are focused on to what are you doing in your mental? Right. Mentally. What are you doing? Let's see what the I Ching is really talking about. Let's hold on and see what we can get in here. Alright, so contemplation. We got the first line, the second line, and the top line of contemplation. Okay, so now as I as I read this, I want you to try and pull out where this dark disease could be coming from in the words you hear, right? Okay, so we have a youthful point of view is blameless in the ordinary person, but blameworthy in the superior man or woman, right? They just said man just to hold it all in, okay? Um, here at the beginning of contemplation are persons who have insufficient talent, experience, character, intelligence, or common sense to make the correct observations and for, uh, formulate judicious opinions. Thus, their courses of action are not best. This is not their fault, but rather because their innate endowments are limited. <laughs> that's, a, that's a rough way to put it. You know, I, I, want, I want to make sure that y'all don't, you know, don't take that at heart. Like, oh, like, he can't talk dirty about people. <laughs> it's not that. But some aspect of this is the case, right? You know, it could be just, you know, incomplete observations, you know, and... This is how the, the E King is, you know, honing you in on what the situation is. But just, you know, I, I, I just, you know, I just want to caution you. You know, what I mean, you know, don't don't take this all super literal. You know, it might, you know, make you back up. Don't back up because you know y'all need this. So thus, the course of action are not best. This is not their fault. Da, 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 da. All types of individuals are required in this world, and the and these two serve a useful purpose in their own way okay all right so it's you know it's just saying you know it's just talking about someone who you know who who is saying that this person is uh he has a deficit he's, he's working from some level of deficit you know you know it could be someone who's uh, over overworked and fatigued and therefore you know isn't thinking straight you know something like that right he will find himself in a difficult position with hands tied. Wait or retreat this year. Do not commence on major enterprises. Judiciousness is lacking, <clears throat> and many things will tend to go uh, to go wrong. Beware of evil people. Okay, there we see a dark disease. All right, uh, beware of evil people. So you know. How this goes is that, you know, you look at your life and you pick up what applies and you leave the rest, right? Because it's, some, it's for somebody else or for you at another time, right? Okay, for the second line, we have observing through a cracked door, advantageous to women. Right, you won't make any judgments on that, just read the text, right? Looking out from behind the cracked door or partially open door, door indicates that this person has a limited or narrow field of view and consequently a restricted viewpoint. Also, he likes to operate secretly and unobserved. All right, now perhaps there could be a dark disease on this as well. It's just somebody, you, you see somebody, you know, you see somebody or two people have an argument and somebody's in the back kind of looking through the door and listening at the wall. You know, this is not, you know, this is not good. This is not, uh, this is like, you know, this is like the first line where it was saying, you know, um, you know, this is a blameworthy position to be in for the superior person. You don't want to be somebody who's like looking through a cracked door or whatever like that. 
And I just combined the first line with the second line, but this is why, right? They, they, they both link, right? As you see what this could be about, right? Um, secretly and unobserved, right? As noted in the hexagram 13 and others, the most propitious way of operating is through fellowship in the open. So there are some circumstances where secrecy and a limited outlook are advantageous when considered in the light of their ancient role. Uh, men with this controlling line will tend to be opinionated, narrow-minded, limited in intelligence, and restricted in abilities. Right? Right, so that's a, you know, that, you know, that, that keynote, looking at something through a cracked door, right? uh, having a narrow field of, of view. Secrecy. These are the keynotes that you're dealing with regarding this one. So look to see where that's you because these negative aspects are what's going to bring that darkness cease out. Right? Right? We have this with the top line. <clears throat> top line is a positive line. It's contemplation of his inner self. No blame. The highest contemplation in consonance with the position of the line is that of one's inner self, whereby one recognizes one's oneness with the Creator, and that therefore, and that therefore, the inner self is that which controls external conditions. These persons are sages who, for the most part, are beyond mundane matters and matters of the ego. They tend to disguise their personal. So this is how you should be. Nobody's saying, you know, nobody. Please don't mistake yourself for being the sage in the circumstance. You're not the sage. <laughs> you should do things like the sage would do. Right? Um, they tend to disguise their personal virtue and abilities and lead and guide them directly, letting others receive the praise and credit. There is no blame attached to them for choosing this type of behavior. They inspire others to take ta actions that they know will bring benefits to many. And so on, right? So this is a higher viewpoint, right? This is a this is a more elevated point within the hexagram, right? So this is how you get into the 60. So 60 is limitation. 60 is when you're placing limitations on yourself, right? It's more so, you know, like self-discipline, right? Uh, you want to do something, but you don't want to do too much of it, right? Just do just enough, okay? Right, so the 20 into the 60, right? So yeah, you got a situation where the dark deceased is on the table, right? You got to be careful not to be the earlier lines in the hexagram that are dealing with secrecy, you know, that are dealing with, you know, someone being in a position where they should be more elevated, right? They're doing things that are beyond or that are underneath their station. Right? So don't be doing stuff that's underneath your station. Be doing stuff. Don't, don't be all in a secretive, you know, operating, you know, in a secretive way, you know, because that's not dignified. Something's telling you to, you know, don't be on that, right? Be high of your contemplation, right? Be, be a, 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 you know, come from a higher place within, within all of this, and show self-discipline, right? Do that and knock down this dark deceased potential here. Also. Poor libation, right? Find out how the ancestors are venerated, right? No, it's not ancestor worship. Nobody worshiping their ancestors, right? But we're acknowledging them. We're paying homage and honor to those dead bodied individuals, right? To those live spirits that don't have a body anymore, right? Don't ignore the chef suit, right? Because some of them, you know, some of the darker ones, right? They might be, you know, might do you in. <laughs> no, don't, don't. Just, just, just pay attention to your chefs, right? Pay attention to your chefs. Also, be mindful of your past dealings with money. Be mindful of, you know, the right way to do it versus maybe the way you've been doing it, or something like that, right? Be, be mindful of the past regarding this money thing. Right? Because this is on the table. Dr. Cease is coming to mess up your money if you don't be mindful of it and of yourself. 
right? Let's talk to the tarot. What does the tarot have to say to my Piscean Sun Moon Rising folks? Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Alright, so yeah, that's what we so we see the Geb, right? Geb there. Because Pentacles is all about money as well, right? So you got the Queen. Queen is comfortable. She's holding up her pentacle, right? She's sitting on her golden throne in her lush gardens, right? Or fields, however you want to call it, right? The skies are blue. She is comfortable. That's right. This one is comfortable in material. Right? So, you know, without dealing with all the details, she's saying that, you know, this is what's going to be on the table, right? The details now go into, you know, dealing with this dark deceased aspect. Dealing with some aspect in your spirit or around your spirit that is dark that you must deal with. Right? And you're going to most successfully deal with that you are applying discipline, right? Self-discipline, self-control, self-restraint, right? Limitation, limiting yourself, limiting your person, right? You may want to move on something. You have to first contemplate it from a high level to see if moving is what you should be doing because it could be an incomplete contemplation, right? Maybe you need to be more reserved. Alright, okay, so that is the reading, my folks, Piscean tip. Alright, so, yeah, uh, like I said, this is just a, a general reading, right? You want to hone this in, make it more personal for you, right? By hitting me up, the email, S-A-A-N-U-S, A-Q-A, at gmail.com. Get at me and uh, we will talk it over, okay? That's everything I got. All right, y'all, and uh, you know, make sure you stay tuned for uh, the next Medina Tale lesson coming up. All right, and uh, yeah, we you know, we got a bunch of stuff to talk about. Right, we're you know, we making a habit out of this thing. All right, we also have some readings uh, uh, for career uh, coming up and readings for relationship focus as well. All right, so uh, yeah, stick with me, get this good stuff. All right, make sure when you need these meditations. Go down to the Tawi link and get those meditations, right? In order, order new cards as well and all that good stuff. Like I need to do, right? I need new cards, don't you think? But really I don't, see? These cards got character. <laughs> These are the character cards. Yes, indeed. Alright. That's it for me, folks. I'm done and I will see y'all next time. Peace and love.